Welcome back everyone to today's video. In today's video we're going to be doing the weather for the next couple of weeks so uh, let's get into this. So currently over the country we've got the wind coming in from a cool northwesterly direction at the moment, northerly um, in the east. Maybe a little bit milder in the southwest or in the far west but except from that we are quite cool with them north westerly winds, northerly winds, even some of that wind air uh, originating up from the northeast and up in the Arctic. So it's going to be once again quite a cool day today. As you can see with that and winds pushing in from the north um, we will run on. So as we go forward we look like this. So that was the current situation and as we carry on that low pressure can stay stable just to the north of the country um, and that will keep causing problems with more rain and unsettled weather but actually we have some high pressure pushing in and this brings some mild air in from the west so this is a sign that we could be having a bit of milder weather but not anything too hot at the moment. There's a deep low pressure system just here. Well, it's going to be wrapping some stronger winds around the country, as you can see them isobars there. As we continue, that low pressure keeps getting closer and closer to the country and starts to affect the country once again with low pressure. But we are getting some long fetched westerlies now, so it is going to be warmer, but still nowhere near what we should be at at the time of the year. Low pressure keeps hanging around and tries to drag the wind into the north or fails, then does drag the wind into the north when it travels northwards. At this point, we actually start bringing in them milder westerlies once again, so that will be better. And then we um, bring our low pressure system just to the north, probably on some rain in Scotland, but the rest of the country will be fine. And that's going to bring them mild westerly wind keep coming as we carry on then westerlies keep coming in so a bit drier but nothing too hot nothing what we would expect at the time of the year and up to the 10th of april we are bringing some cool northwesterlies in again so if we look at the diagrams for that we are looking like this Below average at the moment, we could go a bit above over the next few days, but we keep going under average, below average, above, and then we stay around the average, but possibly going up below again into August, so not looking great with the temperatures. Look at the ECMWF charts now. So there we are once again with that low pressure place um, over at the country, bringing them northerly winds in. It's just the sea pressure, it's not the normal pressure charts. Temperatures are looking like this, still in trouble at the moment with bad temperatures um, and no improvement there. Um, the rainfall calmed down a little bit in Scotland and far west, but the south and central England is still wetter than average at the moment with a lot of rainfall week two for ecmwf's looking like this once again we've got that high pressure up greenland to the west to the southeast and to the northeast and we're bringing in them north leewinds again temperatures for week two look like this once again below average except for the far north scotland maybe going a bit above average or round average but most of the country once again um and most of western europe here is below average so when we got them heat waves in places down below and up here in scandinavia it's going warm but at the moment we are still colder than average the precipitation looks like this we are once again wetter than average by far now the whole of the country especially the west coast looking really wet where you can see some dark greens there so that's not the best at all so let's have a look 
in more in depth on the precipitation now we're going to have a look at the precipitation from wet as central for europe here we go okay so at the moment we've got a bit of patchy rain around and some showers but except from that the country is clear of any heavy rain or any severe downpours at the moment so at least we're getting a bit drier over the next day but will this last i'm not sure because if we carry on in come them showers again as you can see by hour 12 them showers are pushing back in once again as we carry on them showers on the east coast keep packing in and are not um, messing about and keep bringing more wet weather to parts of the country. Then we have a more organised area of rain pushing in from the west with some low pressure and this is going to affect the whole country and we will all have a lot of rain into Thursday it looks like. Wednesday, Thursday looking very wet there. Um, and then that clears and we got another area of low pressure will bring showers um, so this is going to be quite wet and then bands of rain keep pushing in when the winds are in from the west and we're getting them low pressure systems pushing through and all the way to the end of the run we just keep pushing more and more rain through the country okay thanks everyone for watching today's video and we'll see you in the next video. So thank you for watching and goodbye.